It's finally here guys, the long awaited Marvelous Designer 8 is here and this time with some mind blowing updates. They definitely added some mind blowing features this time to reduce the rate of migrating to other applications. Though impressive but I don't think personally I can just stay in one place during my clothes design. Enough of my rant, let's dive into the review. First is the logo. Yes, Marvelous Designer team eventually did something about the regular M they had as a logo. This time it looks somewhat like a little thought was put into the icon representing Marvelous Designer. Is it a mind-blowing addition? No. But it's new, so I thought I should just point that out. So, to the main update in MD8, mind you, I'll leave the best for last. Personally. I've always loved the idea of showcasing the wireframe of my garment, but I can't because the meshes on MD are triangulated. Even when you take it to ZBrush to retopple the mesh, you end up having to patch up broken polygons, which is really tedious. But man, am I glad or what? This tool will enhance garment presentation and will even make working on your garment in other applications like Maya, 3D Max. ZBrush and the likes of it very easy and flexible. Top it all, you can also change the angle of the polygon. Like, this is crazy. The trace pattern from UV map is another feature which I think people that work better from the UV map will love because it just requires the flat map from the UV graph and MD will automatically create stitches for you to simulate. Wow. Guys, you won't understand my excitement, like I've been battling with this for like years now, like I've been using MD for like 4 years and I've been battling with things like this, this is like work made easy, I'm so so excited. So remember the series video I did on how to create a custom avatar and how to add bounding volume and arrangement points manually? I'll leave the link in the description box below for those that can't get their hands on MD8 yet. But this new automated arrangement point feature is amazeballs. Like, you don't need to go through the hassle of manually positioning your attach points anymore. This happens automatically as you import your custom models. Sick, right? You can now add your sewing on the 3D window. You know how you can sew or edit on the 3D window? It's now very much possible in MD8. Any sewing type you can previously do on 2D window is very much possible now on the 3D window. Trim weight simply shows a more organic weight presentation of accessories added to your garment like buttons, zipper or studs. As the weight is being adjusted from the property editor, the organic reflection of the weight as it relates to real-time weight is affected on the garment. Now the highlight of my excitement is definitely the sculpt too. If you're not an MD to ZBrush migrant, you won't understand this excitement. Guys, you can now sculpt your wrinkles, folds and every other action that takes you to ZBrush on MD8. Is that a relief or what? MD8 basically has the 5 most needed brushes for sculpting. So what the heck, do everything you want to do on MD8 and boom. So I really can't wait to get my hands on this baby and start exploring and doing something new and doing something amazing with it and once I get my hands on it, I'm going to make as much review as possible on each new feature. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications whenever I upload a video and till I come your way again. Bye!